Welcome back to CEO Corner. We're talking with John Donahue, CEO of Arbella Insurance Group. And we were talking some about auto insurance before the break. We obviously live in this remarkable time when cars have never been safer to drive, and yet there are more things to distract us than ever while we're driving them. You've come up with something interesting called distractology. And I wonder if you can just introduce us to that. Tell us the story of what that's all about. Sure. Um, one of the things we started noticing four or five years ago is more and more accidents caused by distracted driving. So that's talking on your phone, putting on your makeup while you're driving, and trying to text. And we knew we had to do a better job of educating, especially new drivers, about the dangers of that. So we were lucky enough to meet up with Professor Fisher from University of Massachusetts out in Amherst, who had done a lot of studies on how to teach young drivers how to be more effective. And so we helped and worked with him and built the Distractology trailer. So we're looking at it now. This is basically people come in and will attempt to drive and send text messages at the same time and see what happens? That's right. So it's almost like a video game, which is the way to get the attention of young drivers, but we also build it as a simulator, meaning that you're sitting behind the wheel with a brake, a gas pedal, a steering wheel, and as you go through the different events, cars pull out from side streets, people stop suddenly in, in front of you, teaching you about reaction times, and then at one point you're handed a phone and asked to read a text while you're driving, and virtually everyone is unable to do that without crashing. Wow. And I understand you've had some famous people come in and uh, help spread that message, including, I guess, Paul Pierce. I can't quite figure out how he fit behind the wheel there. but Well, luckily, the wheel could move back. But yes, we had Paul Pierce from the Celtics and Tim Thomas from the Bruins both come in and to try it out because we wanted to see people with those incredible coordination and quick hands, could they do it? And I will tell you, both of them crashed while they were trying to read the text. Wow. And I bet they probably were a little surprised, thinking, like, I'm a master of the universe. I can, you know, stop 40 shots in a game and I can dunk a basketball and uh, it looks like they got a rude awakening there. They did. They both, I can tell you, were a little confident coming in because of their ability to manage their hands and move quick that they could do it. And they both told me afterwards, a little sheepishly, that they were surprised that even they crashed. Now, uh, at this point, do you know how many people, you know, have been through Distractology or mm -hmm. how many places it's been? Yes. It's, this is our, we're starting our third year. We've taken over 4,000 young drivers through it. We've had it in over 50 locations. And we take it to a lot of high schools. So it's not just the people that go through it, but then they talk about it in their classrooms. They talk about it over public service announcements, and it gets a much wider conversation going about the dangers of texting and driving. And I'm thinking, you know, the, the causes of accidents, uh, you know, we see these wonderful numbers about the number of people killed on highways in the USA, you know, down to kind of record lows. Um, airbags, all sorts of other improved safety features. And yet, you know, we, we have looked at it, uh, texting, you know, the video players in the mm -hmm. back of the car, yeah. uh, just the, you know, the amount of time that people spend in their cars eating and putting on makeup right. and all that stuff. How, from your perspective, how has that changed um, at a high level auto safety compared to 10 years ago in terms of accident occurrence mm -hmm. and what's causing them? Well, the good news is cars are much safer. They're built much safer with airbags and things like that. Fatalities are down, but the number of accidents, and certainly the number of accidents by distracted driving, are going way up. And that's also impacting young people more and more. So it's it's almost like it's shifting, Peter, from being the, the very serious deaths to also now very serious injuries and among young people. It must be, if you're commuting to work in the morning, you hear traffic on the threes, it just sounds like every single day there's a rollover somewhere or, mm -hmm. you know, people go off the road on the middle of a completely straight highway. I assume that's symptoms of what you're describing. Exactly. When you see an a, a claim or an accident where it is a, not bad weather, not speed, then you can almost be guaranteed there's some sort of distraction that was going on that caused the driver to, and it's literally two seconds to take their eyes off the road and that can cause an accident. Yeah. Now we've seen Tim Thomas doing Distractology and he's also uh, come on board as a celebrity spokesperson. We have that ad uh, queued up. Let's take a look at Tim Thomas representing Arbella. Saving it? Nope. Oh, sorry. Saving it? Nope. Save. Saving it. Oh, saving it there, big guy. Saving it. Really? No, not really. Yes. Bruins goalie Tim Thomas is all about saving. And with Arbella, you can be too. Big save. That's what I do. Find a local independent agent at Arbella.com. That's great. <laughs> now, tell us the story of how Arbella and Tim Thomas 
uh, found each other? Sure. Well, um, we uh, obviously do a lot of advertising around sports, and most of us are local uh, sports fans. So when Tim and the Bruins had that wonderful year going to the Stanley Cup, we became big fans of his. And then we got to know him through some mutual friends. Uh, he's very much focused on New England, having gone to school at the University of Vermont, having lived here for a long time. Uh, and as we got to know him, we realized that his emphasis on working hard, being prepared, and being local focused really fit with what we try to do at Arbella. So we thought he would make a great partner to go help us go out and tell our story. Little hiccup with the White House appearance. How did that play out for Arbella? Well, you know, we're we're big supporters of free speech. You know, we don't necessarily agree with his opinions and how he approached it, but we respect his right to do that. So he did that. It certainly created some controversy, and uh, from our point of view, it had nothing to do with the selling insurance or working with Arbella. So we're still very glad to be his partner. Well, and I and I sense at the end of the day, I'm sure he's been you know net uh, done a whole lot more for Arbella than potentially alienating people. He really has. I mean, he as I said, he stands for a lot of things that we're proud about, about working hard, always trying to get better, and being local. Um, he even helped us launch our Walk for Hunger, our charity support on around food pantries, because he and his father helped support food pantries when he was growing up in Michigan. And that's a good thing to bring up. Uh, some of the things that Arbella does around um, uh, Walk for Hunger and other community civic mm -hmm. engagement. Part of our culture is to give back to the communities where we work and get business. And so for years, we've been sponsoring through our charitable foundation, uh, Walks for Hunger to support food pantries countries, the Jimmy Fund, a lot of things like that where we not only give money, but our employees and our independent agents go out and volunteer. And so it's a big part of what our Bella stands for. Well, that's wonderful. We should go to one more break, but I want to come back. I mentioned earlier, a lot of people start companies that aren't necessarily there 24, year, 24 years later, what John Dunahue has learned along the way after a break.